Okay, we have here our the gold linkage configurator. Inside the configurator, it shows our linkage in our open state and the linkage in the closed state. With our configuration options, we have some presets for the master, some presets for the T4, the EX30, and the extreme. These presets are pre configured values for these values here. These values do not update when we select a preset, so let's select this one, which is a master. 70 mil travel with a DNM 210. These values are not updating, but our linkage has updated to incorporate this. What this shows is the linkage in its different states. Let's select the extreme state. We'll see it will generate. It'll update. And because it's a extreme, we need to click the extreme offset. And that adds our offset up here. The extreme has from here to here, 120 mil of usable travel from my calculations, they call it 130, but let's not get into that. And in its closed state, I'm using a DNM 220, so we've got 66 millimeters of movement in its closed state, it's 155 big. We have some calculated variables that we cannot see because we are not logged into an account. Let's log into an account to see what we can see when we actually log in. Loading workspace. We're in that same workspace of the extreme, the extreme offset. We're going to get our front view. We can see here it's 154. We can scroll down and now we have our variables that have loaded. We can see that I've configured this for 66 movement, which is 65.72 movement. And this linkage setup here has a ratio of 1.8. We can click on our other setups. This is what I'm running on my current master. I've got 100 mil of travel between those two points is 100 mil. I'm not using the extreme offset so it's in the correct alignment now. 160, 160, I'm getting 60 mil of movement. I'm not using my full 220 but I am pulling a 1.7 ratio. If I was using more of the ratio it would uh, harden this up a bit but this works great for my 550 pound coil. Once we've seen a few of these presets, you can also go custom configuration. Custom configuration is where these inputs here will start to take effect. We'll start at the top. This is how long the linkage is. Extension travel is the distance that of your movement on your EUC. A master is 70 mil, 70 mil, and there's a little bit extra, which is the bit that it can't move, and I've calculated it out at that. We have the horizontal distance, which is this line here, how far it sticks out. All these impact the overall rating of our linkage as we update these. The small linkage angle is this one here, 142s, which is, 142 is a pretty common number. The length, which is this one here. As that updates, cool. And then the big link angles between here and here, well, 170 is very common for that. We are running on a 200 coil. We can see that's been updated there. On our closed state, we are sitting at 150. And we have a movement of 50 mil from open to close. On a 200 mil DNM, this is not functional, but it just shows you the differences. You want about 56. To fine tune this to get this up to 56. As we change this distance and this distance and this angle, it will impact how our linkage looks. As we increase our angle, we can see as we pull it down, it does make it shorter, uh, longer, sorry. So up to 50 mil. Uh, if we increase the link is to pull it out to say 80, 146, so it's made it shorter. So we'll put that back at 70, and we can change the how long uh, this linkage length is, so 65. And that's giving us kind of like what we need. A couple more, 55, and we can bring it all the way up to 61. And we're pretty close at 59.60. And that's giving us a 60 mil movement, a 1.2 ratio. That's going to be really hard, which is pretty good. 
We also have the final one, which is the offset, which is the distance between here and here. If we go zero, zero, the linkage tends to stick up too high, and then you'll end up having collisions into your frame. Uh, negative five is uh, pretty common to have it sitting below. Once we've done that, got our values from our generator. We can then come into the configuration field version, which makes our linkage look pretty. We have to remember to derive our linkage. Now there's a few way, things you have to remember here. You can pull in a basic preset by selecting one of these presets. Let's say the EXN for one for this case, and then click tick. It will then pull in all the preset details for the EXN linkage. At the moment, this linkage is the EXN one. If we double click it again and we want to use our custom values, you have to click custom variables and then you have to copy and paste all these individual variables that you would have set up here. So 200, 70, 70, 160, you'd have to go here 200, 70, 70, 160. So you make sure you write them down 74, 175, 74, 175. Yep, and then click tick and then it will generate your custom linkage to those variables. Once that's done, you can then click on the face of the linkage and click export as DXF. That will then generate a DXF file that you can export. Let's export this one, export it, save, and export the other one, export DXF, exporting, export. And then we can open up those two linkages and you can preview them these are just straight outlines and because they're outlines they can then be sent off to laser cutting which is awesome and the last thing that you can do is you can look at it in the assembly view which is not complete yet and you can move the linkage this assembly view doesn't need any updating it automatically pulls the version from this one so if we update this one and say it's an extreme offset and it's an extreme linkage and then we click update I don't know if you've got to hit generate or update I can't remember click OK so that's the extreme one and then in the assembly view it's got that one I'm still building this there's a lot of mistakes in it but this is probably the most important one to get your figures and numbers a lot of work to be done and this is where it is at this current state